everyone, it's Nurse Lolita here, and today we're going to talk about cannabis onsets and duration. That means how long will it take for it to kick in and how long will it last for it. But first, as usual, I need for you to stop what you're doing right now. If you're watching me on YouTube, I need for you to hit the subscribe button. Yes, the subscribe button. And if you're watching me on IGTV, I need for you to hit the follow button. Okay? I'll give it a second. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's continue. Now first, let's talk about the method that everyone's familiar with, inhalation. When you inhale cannabis, whether you're smoking a joint, a bong, um, a vape, an inhaler, whatever, when you're inhaling it, then that means that usually the effects will kick in within the first two minutes or so. It will usually last for about up to two hours or so. Now, the next method we're going to talk about is sublingual. That means under the tongue. Now, when you take cannabis sublingually or you place it under your tongue, you usually start to feel the effects within the first 15 minutes and the duration will last for up to four hours. Next, let's talk, talk about ingesting cannabis. So when I say ingesting cannabis, that means anything that you do by mouth and you swallow it. So that can be an edible, that can be a drink, that can be um, a pill. So anything that you're ingesting and swallowing has a very time effect. Um, this is one of the least reliable methods for cannabis in, um, administration simply because it's completely dependent upon your metabolism rate. So for some people, um, they will start to feel the effects of an ingested cannabis within 30 minutes. For other people, it can take up to three hours. It just depends on what's in your stomach, um, how fast you metabolize things, you know, did you take it on an empty stomach, a full stomach, etc. So it gets very complicated when you're ingesting cannabis. However, it has a very long duration. You ingest cannabis, it can last up to eight hours, which is a very long time. Now let's talk about transdermal stuff. So transdermal means you apply it to the skin, but then it goes from your skin into your bloodstream. It's transdermal through the skin, okay? Now that can be a patch, that can be an ointment, a salve, a lotion, or oil. There's a lot of different types of transdermal products out there. The cool thing about transdermal products is you should start to feel it within the first 15 minutes. And the other interesting thing is that the effects of transdermal application can be from 8 to 12 hours. That's a very long time. But also remember, if you're using a transdermal patch, you can control how long the effects last for by simply removing the patch. So next, let's talk about topicals. So topicals are like your lotions, your oils, some of your salves. Things that you apply topically to your skin, however, they do not go into the bloodstream. So remember with a topical, it does not go into the bloodstream, which means you will not get a psychoactive high if it has THC in it. Also, you need to remember because it's topical and it does not go into the bloodstream, you will not test positive for um, urine analysis because it's not being filtered through your kidneys and it's not going into your urine. So that's something to be considered. Usually when you use topical um, lotions or oils or salves, they start to relieve the issue within about 15 minutes and they last for up to four hours. But remember, this is localized relief. If I apply a lotion to my arm, it's just going to provide the relief to this arm for about four hours. It's not gonna, pop, uh, it's not gonna provide relief to this arm. It's just this arm where you applied it. Now, let's talk about suppositories. I know a lot of people don't use suppositories, but they are out there in the market and they can be very effective if used properly for the right issues or conditions. So um, after inserting a suppository and after it fully dissolves, it usually will kick in within 10 to 15 minutes and will last up to four to eight, four to eight hours. So guys, that's it. I just wanted to briefly cover um, the different ways you can use cannabis and how long it will take for the effects to kick in for each different way and how long the effects will last for each different route of administration. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'm Nurse Lolita, have a great day.